Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Super Mario World. And today we are making our way into the Vanilla Dome. I love this song so much. It's just like, I don't know, something about it is so 90s to me. I just love that, like sort of like the bass to it and the kick and everything. But anyways, I don't wanna blab too much about it. We do have, um, you know, a level here and a secret exit. It is Vanilla Dome 1. Now I don't know if, I feel like Vanilla Dome 1 has a secret exit I can't immediately get to. Like that's totally barred off unless I get like a Switch Palace or something. But I guess we'll find out together. Can I get this? There we go, it's a Fire Flower. So no, Yoshi, Yoshi stay, D don't, don't fall, thank you. Okay, we got a Fire Flower. I mean, I'd rather have a cape right now. I always would rather have a cape. Unless it's like a boss fight. Ooh, this is, this is interesting. Um, if I do remember this quick correctly, it's a little bit weird because there's a lot of ways to get stuck. And as you can see, if you get stuck, you gotta sort of start over from the beginning again. But I guess that's what this is for. If I do this correctly, I mean, oh, that, never mind. That doesn't even break these. It's sort of weird, you'd think it would. Okay, so I actually don't want that because, hold on, oh, can I get up this? Oh no, come on, there we go. I'd rather keep my cape so I have a little bit of variety, a little bit of a choice. But I can eat you and I can just keep going. Oh, I really want that. Oh, I know I know a way to get that. Do this. And then if we do that, oh, it doesn't last for very long though, you gotta be quick. No, darn it, I messed it up. I messed everything up. Get out of here. Okay, wait, that, that sort of works, that sort of works. No, no, Yoshi, come back, come back, come back. No, Yoshi. Yoshi, buddy, come on. What is going on with this level? It's insane. <laughs> okay, just get through it like that, there we go. See, this is why the cape is always better. Wouldn't have even gotten myself into that situation. Whoa, whoa, oh, I'm so sorry, Yoshi. I'm the worst Yoshi owner ever. Oh my gosh, everything's a mess right now. I'm an emotional mess. Things aren't going my way. See, yeah, this is where I need either A, the Yoshi I just lost. I mean, I might be able to like, no, no way I can make enough momentum right here. I'll try, but I don't think there's any way. Yeah, that's not looking like it. If I just had Yoshi for one extra moment, like maybe if I were able to just run like this, there's no way, there's no way you can do that. I mean, maybe if you're like a Super Mario World expert, which I'm sure it's very clear to you that I am not, uh, you could get up there. We'll try that again in a moment, but I think it would just be easier to get the Switch Palace. We'll get it later on, so we'll figure that out. But for right now, it's star power time! Run, run, run! Come on, come on, got it. My goal is to try to get as close as I can to 99 lives. Oh my, well, I'm not getting that one. See ya. <laughs> I didn't quite get a life there, so my whole goal was still asunder. Whoa, I didn't know you could, if you could do that, then you could definitely get up there. I didn't realize that that's something you could do. You could change your direction. Which way am I supposed to go? Okay, I guess not this way. That was a little bit of a trick, a little bit of a trap. Be very careful in this wild Mario world. There's a lot of things that can hurt you. Oh no, especially if I don't have any power-ups. Luckily now I got a mushroom. Why'd I do that? Now I can't really go back as easily. Whoa, okay. This level is treacherous. It's quite the introduction to, to, to Vanilla Dome. Okay, so how do I get across here reliably? Like that, nice, okay. Can pick these up and I can just break them together. That helps me get through. Can I bust these? I can't. I don't know why some of them you can bust and some of them you can't, but that's one of them. Anyways, the end of the level is right over here. I'm gonna throw this at you. Are you serious? Things are not going my way. I'm out of here. <laughs> of course, when the tough gets going, you run away, right? That's not really what you should do, but that's what I did. It's okay, we'll make it work. So I could go back in the level and really try to force that secret exit, but I don't think it's a good idea. Instead, we should move on to Vanilla Dome 2, where we got something going on. Oh, we just hop right in the water. Is anywhere to go to the left? Not quite. But I'm really glad to hear some of you guys are enjoying this series so far. I really, really love this game. Okay, that was scary. I don't know how I survived that. And how I didn't survive that. That was a little bit questionable. Like Mario's big toe grazed that turtle, instantly taken down. That's a little odd. But I love some of these Super Nintendo games. I would love to play more for you guys in the future. Just let me know, say the word. Maybe I'd check a couple out. Love to hear you know, some cool Mario games you remember from when you were young. Cause I'm trying to play more and more of those. Cause a lot of people seem to have a lot of memories with Mario games and I want to sort of enjoy that with you. That's just sort of you know something I enjoy doing. Just playing games and talking about it for you guys. Okay, so let's try to be careful with all this, excuse me. Oh, hey, get a dragon coin for going down this way. 
These fish are so stressful. Like, they're so simple in the way that they move around, but it's always so stressful. Okay, got it. Okay, got a mushroom. That's what I really needed. So I've only had one way to really go from this point so far. Oh, no way did I get hit by that. And there's another mushroom. That probably would've been like a flower or something. Okay, Ooh. I don't know what's this way, but I mean, I do have this. Hey, there's a flower. So I could go to the left, but I feel like that's a bad idea. I mean, there is a Vanilla Dome 2 secret exit. Oh gosh, I pressed jump there. There is something weird going on at the moment. I have to like double check my controller. Excuse me, Mr. Chuck. I know if you land on this guy's head enough, it does take him, there he goes, get out of here, dude. You're like tougher than a boss fight. And you do take three hits, so it sort of is the same. Yeah, no, I thought I was gonna get a feather cap. I mean, the star is good, but that's okay. Get that, get a flower, that's pretty nice to have. I don't know what I'm doing with this switch, I'm just holding onto it for dear life, and it's gone. What's down this way then? Guess we're about to find out. Okay, don't get hit. Oh, Mario. The icy platforms have returned from the previous episode, and they're treacherous, all right. They're very treacherous. There's nothing in this level. Maybe if I could fly, there was something. Okay, bats, and I let them hit me. Can't believe it. Uh, ooh, okay, there were three of them? They had a squad formation going on here. Not only are they football players, but they're ninjas too. So somewhere in that treacherous level was a secret exit. I have no idea where, but we gotta go in to find out, so. Let's get started with that. Okay, so back in the Vanilla Dome 2, we unlocked a ghost house, which we'll tackle next time. Or not next time, but next after this. Oh boy. So I gotta be careful. I know that there is a mushroom right over somewhere. Gotcha. So I gotta be careful. I'm sort of rebuilding from nothing here. I could go back to the last uh, area, Donut Plains, and get some extra stuff that way. I'm tempted just to go back to the uh, top secret area, get myself a Yoshi and couple power-ups, it's always so tempting. But I think I know where the secret exit is. I have this, I'm arming myself with this, just for, you know, a fish or two, just to deal with it. So we already know as well that there should be a power-up. It is a feather cap, thank you. But I think it has to do with that P-switch up there, if I remember correctly. So we need to get up like this, get a fire flower, that's fine with me. I'll be able to keep my feather for when I need it. And then grab that and then slide if I can. Okay, that's such a weird jump. Pick this up, don't use it yet, and now hit this, and I don't know what's going on down this way. Yeah, this is the area I haven't been to. Oh, I found a key, mm -mm, I found a key. And what's in the water? Oh, hey, right here, cool. <laughs> All right, we got it. That wasn't too bad, it was just tricky. There was a lot of places it could have been in that level, and as you can see, it leads on over to the Red Switch Palace. Might as well go ahead and do this now, right? Um, there's like a whole slew of things going on this. Oh, you know what? I could have gotten that dude to, I don't know. Maybe that, that's a little weird. You know, usually I'm used to getting a lot of one-ups for these things, but uh, these ones are too challenging for me. So I'm just gonna leave them be. Ooh, leave me alone. I'm just gonna take the button with me. And I still have it, yeah. <laughs> All right, so I brought a button for my button and cool. The power of the switch will, have, will no, I've, or you've pushed, we'll turn these blocks into those blocks, your progress will also be saved. So now we got the Red Switch Palace, which is awesome. We could go back to uh, Vanilla Dome 1. We might as well, it's right here. It's not that tough of an area to get to. I mean, I guess it is a little bit tough, but I mean, I gotta do it sooner or later, might as well do it now. The stuff it leads to, I think we'll leave for a different part of the video, of course. We'll just tackle the main stuff after that. Right now, the goal is to just get the secret exits. It isn't to do too much more with them. Um, so I, actually, I do need a fire flower. Let's go ahead and grab that. There's really anything in the extra slot. Because these guys don't get hit by that. That's sort of maximum baloney. Come on, come on, come on. Ready for this? Ready for this? Oh, no, I was trying to. You know what? Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out. I don't want to see any of you. Don't want to see a single one. There we go. Got it. <laughs> Going through. And then all we need to do is just be over here. Super easy. Get up this way. And then there's something we can do. I think it's just as simple as that, right? Ready, pick up the key, put it in there, boom, we got it, it's done, easy. I don't know what that leads to. I don't know if I wanna know unless Mario runs down it automatically, he does. <laughs> okay, it's gonna be vanilla secret one. So we don't wanna deal with the secret levels just yet, we wanna go down the main path where we have vanilla ghost house. Remember, every ghost house has a secret exit. So let's head on in. You would think that there wouldn't be clouds seeing how this is a ghost house in a cave. It would've been a nice touch if they had like cave details in the background there. 
But hey. Oh no, that's so uncool! What are you doing, buddy? Jeez. Let us be careful about this. Oh, I can't jump through this block. I thought I could. I actually want to go back around the left. If I could get an extra something out of that question block, that'd be good right now. Gonna have to be careful about it. Oh, okay, that wasn't very careful, but it worked. Irresponsible as it may have been. Oh, I can I can jump off these guys. These guys, unlike other ghosts, have a solid presence to them. So I can just sort of ride him to victory. This is really, really irresponsible. But you know what? It's what I'm doing at the moment. What I find funny. Okay, so you know what? I think this is, whoa, whoa, okay. Calm down, Mario. You don't stop jumping until you hit solid ground. I'm pretty sure there's a secret exit with one of these. Maybe it's, I don't know which one it is. I think that we'll leave that, of course, for when we need a secret exit. Ooh. Okay, we made it, we made it. Whoa, come on, that's not cool. That is not cool one bit. What is in here? Just some coins, which I'll go ahead and grab while I'm waiting for this wheel to spin. This wheel of scariness. So there's that done, all oh, green bubbles of goo. Or maybe, maybe not goo. I don't know what they really are, but they're scary, and they're everywhere, and they're hard to dodge. These don't show up anywhere else in the game, by the way, just so you know, and they have a really weird curvature to them. Oh my gosh. I've died so many times in this series, way more than I'd like to. That's just how it is, right? Okay, so let's try this again. The bubbles of doom really giving me a hard time. Let me go ahead and get this coin, and then run back this way. Ooh, so fast and speedy now. Better watch out for Mario. It's gonna speed right past you if you don't. Okay, so we're not doing the bounce off the ghosts irresponsibly this time. But I'm tempted to, it would be cool. Can I? Oh, I can do that for these ghosts. I didn't realize that. So I gotta be careful once again. Ooh, excuse me, Big Boo. You're not the boss fight version of the Big Boo, just a Big Boo. There we go, ready? Got it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get you way up here, and then I'm just gonna go below. And ooh, look at all this stuff up this way. Huh, maybe that has to do with the secret exit. I don't really know. Okay, so this is where, you know what? I am super tempted to just charge for it and then go, go, dodge the bubbles, dodge the bubbles of doom. No, okay, that was way too close for comfort. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, we got a P-switch. What do I gotta use this thing for? Oh, okay, this has to be our normal exit, right? It is, thank goodness. Ooh, I didn't wanna, oh, and I, I missed a little thing, so I didn't get any points. I didn't wanna be in there any longer than we had to, but I do have to go back in. You try to go out and then just drag it back in. Those evil ghosts. But that should lead to Donut Plains, uh, not Donut Plains, uh, Vanilla Dome 3, and indeed it does, so we'll save, so we don't have to ever go through that initial part again. And now if I do remember this correctly, which I'm pretty sure I do, uh, I just need to get past some of this. Actually, let me go ahead and do this and just wait it out, because I would like to get this fire flower. Love the fire flower dancing, he's just so happy. He's like, yeah, I'm a fire flower. Life can't get much better than that. Okay, in a moment, I'm probably just gonna get double uh, cap, if I can, or double cape. I don't know why I wanna call it a cap. I just I can never remember the, the proper name for it. But at the same time, I think it's just this one. No? I gotta be careful, because if I remember correctly, I need to break these blocks overhead or it's gonna bump into them. Don't break these. I need to not break those. So I need to be really careful about this. It's not any of those. Can you leave me alone, sir? Like, I'm clearly busy with something. Just bounce off all those. No, no, not these though. I swear it's something like, oh, there it is. Okay, I got so lucky. I think I got lucky. Oh, oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, where do you think you're going, boo? All right, just keep moving. Whoa, excuse me. Pardon, wait, what? No, 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 no. That's just gonna lead back down that way. Wait, this wasn't the secret exit? This was a couple extra coins? Really? I guess? Weird. Okay, well now I gotta deal with this stuff again. This time, we'll do it for real this time now. Ooh. So we know the normal exit though. It's going through that blue door, right? So. If I just keep going beyond that, or not beyond it really, but you know what I mean, hopefully. Get this switch. I mean, I don't know if the switch is really gonna be all that helpful, but if I go like that and go through this door, no, it just brings me back here. Oh no, where am I supposed to be going right now? I have no clue, but I'm not gonna give up. 
Yeah, get this, but that's gonna give me a fire flower in my one slot, which is what I didn't really want. Oh, and now I don't have any kind of cape. I'm so bad today. I just like, I can't get my act together. I just don't know what I gotta do then. But there has to be something. But what is that something? I just don't remember. Ooh, it's not that, I can tell you that much. Okay, so apparently I'm wrong. <laughs> I just double checked the Wikipedia, because I've been looking at this for a while, trying to find the secret exit. This is the only one in the game that doesn't have one. Or it might be. Maybe, maybe there's one other one. I thought that there was a secret exit in every single one of them. I swear that that's, I mean, that's how it is in other Mario games for sure. Well, there goes my rule that there's always a secret exit. So that was a waste of time. It happens, don't worry, we all make mistakes. So I'm just gonna keep going. As you can see over here, we have Vanilla Dome 3. And with this one, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, oh, I remember this one. This one's like a little, little ride down memory lane. We got these guys. These guys show up in some other Mario games. They're pretty tough. I don't know if that was probably a power up, the one on the very top. Tough to get to though. Oh, that's a mushroom. I'm just gonna let that plop down to me. Thank you. Okay, and I lose it. I'm like so off with this game. I don't know what it is. Like usually, I'm not this bad with it. I'm not the best at this game for sure. I mean, guess this is what happens if you don't play it for a couple years. I mean, I, you know, all things are going okay. I have 45 lives, and these guys are a little bit tough to dodge because they actually go for you. They look so happy that they're like, yay. Okay, ready? Jump for it, we made it. What do I gotta do? I gotta do that, gotcha. Now this level does not have a secret exit. It was a yellow dot level, so that leaves a little less to be worried about. He's gotta survive the level itself. But even that could be a real challenge for some of these levels. It gets to be a really tough game. I mean, that's sort of the big challenge of it, is that like, I mean, it's not the most challenging Mario game of all time, obviously, but like, it definitely does bring a tough challenge. I feel like the big thing with it though is finding everything, exploring thoroughly to find every single, you know, secret exit and everything in this pipe. Where does this pipe lead? I don't know where the pipe leads. We're gonna find out together. You know, like that's what's really cool about it. It makes it really challenging. Okay, ooh, oh, okay. Well, that's not really what I wanted to do, but maybe I could just, uh, if I did that correctly, I think that if you hit a dragon coin, I missed it again. I'm really bad at that. No, that doesn't count. What do you know? Hmm, I could try this. Oh. I don't know why I'm obsessing over this dragon coin. I've already told myself they don't matter, and they really, really don't. Oh, but I can get it, yeah! <laughs> All right, well, obsession over, I got what I needed. So there's that done. And now I can run up this way. Do I gotta be real careful, because as you can see down there, there is this a Koopa shell all over the place, but I can get rid of it, which is nice. Now if I grab that Koopa shell and shoot it upwards, I can get a Yoshi, cool, that's actually a nice spot for a Yoshi. Pretty tough to get to. Now I can actually um, not throw a Koopa shell by holding down and then releasing the button. So that's always good to keep in mind so you don't actually accidentally you know, throw it around and hurt yourself. I just wanna get up here. Why is this so complicated? There it is. Yoshi, buddy, how are you doing? Forgot the Yoshi was even in this level. Bum -ba -dum -bum -bum -bum. Okay, so we got more like slow roller coaster of doom. People love using these to make like auto scrolling levels in Mario Maker. I remember that. Ooh, well they came from Mario World, right? So you have that to thank. I mean, I guess there's sort of kind of another Mario, previous Mario game, sort of, not really. I'm so glad I, wait, wait, what happened? What happened? What happened to my skull raft? It disappeared, I just was trying to get the coin. What is with that? That is so not cool. Okay, so I guess wait for the raft this time. Got it, okay, woo, I almost landed right into the lava. Would have been so upset. So this is where things get tough again, but Yoshi can eat these guys, so I might just wanna take my opportunity. Okay, oh, got it. And they also give you a coin, so I'm about to get a one-up. Ow, okay, that's fine, that's fine. I don't need to eat anymore, I just need to keep getting through. Nice, got another Yoshi coin. Yeah, and I get a mushroom. Oh, I almost let it fall in the pit. Okay, okay, we've got another raft, seriously? How many of these things are there have to be? Well, there doesn't have to be any of them. They're all unnecessary. But we made it, we made it. <laughs> oh my gosh, it never ends. Come on, come on, ready? Oh, is this the end? It is, boom, 40 points. That's gonna get us to 88 in total. So soon enough, we'll have ourselves another bonus game. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Okie doke, so that is some very nice progress. 
And as you can see, we're already at Vanilla Dome 4, so we'll complete this level and then go back and do some other ones. This is another tricky one. I love this level, though, just because of its aesthetic. Like, it's just nighttime, you can see all the sparkling stars, those bull bills coming out of nowhere. It's a little hectic. Whoa but it's also just really fun. I need that mushroom. Actually, I don't need the mushroom. Goodbye, Yoshi. Okay, now I do need the mushroom. See, this is what happens if you have greed. I mean, I wasn't trying to be greedy. I thought I actually needed the mushroom, but sometimes you just gotta take things slower. Now I have no Yoshi, and that's it. I just, I feel sad. Okay, okay. Be careful. This level just has like a bunch of interesting stuff. There's another level just like it later on. That's a bit more difficult, which is worrying me because this one's plenty difficult for me as it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Grab that. I meant get rid of anybody who dares get in my way because I am now Super Mario with the cape. It is interesting that Super Mario actually becomes Super Mario because he's like a superhero with the cape. Uh, I guess that's sort of where the idea came from, right? I like how if you don't jump off the top there, you can't get the halfway point. I mean, maybe if you throw like a Koopa shell through it, that might work, but I don't know if it does. Oh, why'd I do that? I just wanted to, I know I could go down this pipe. Oh no, the return of the raft. Oh, this was a mistake. This was a total mistake. Why'd I come down here? This is scary too. I gotta land on these things. Luckily, I wanna get as many coins as I can because I lost a lot to get down here. So let's grab all these. I missed a couple. <laughs> Those are the first couple I missed too. Small Mario just really doesn't get past them very well. Okay, ready? Ooh, and he got a good amount there. And we do get a dragon coin, which is nice. 4,000 points for, and if we get two more, we get a one up. Okay, this guy's gonna fall off because he's green. The green ones fall off, the red ones sort of turn around. Whoa, quadruple bullet bill is scary. Uh, let's get rid of him. Oh my gosh, almost hit me. I think another one's about to show up, I gotta be careful. Ooh, dragon coin. No, boy, watch out. Hold on, hold on. Ooh, oh, I missed. Nothing's going my way today. <laughs> it's insane. Yeah. Okay, so I might wanna go back and get, before we tackle all the uh, secret stuff, because we have Lemmy's castle here. Lemmy Koopa, my favorite. Before we deal with any of that, because I know it's gonna be tough, we're gonna head all the way no, down. I pressed the down button. Head all the way back down, go to the top secret area that we unlocked in the previous episode, and get ourselves sort of like a little bit of a recoup going on. We're gonna get some power-ups, we're gonna get a Yoshi, things will be good. I don't need the extra lives. All I need is some power-ups so I can maintain the current lives that I have. So getting those will be good. I guess I sort of did that in the opposite order I wanted to then. Let's head out and then head back in, because I want two caps. Uh, not two caps, two capes. I don't know, just because I get used to saying like cap all the time from like Mario Odyssey. But uh, there's that. So let's head back this way now, one more time. It'd be cool to see a 3D Mario game with the cape. Because I don't think there's any 3D Mario games with the cape. I mean, I know you have things that are basically the cape, like the uh, wing cap. That's another thing I'm gonna get mixed up. <laughs> Probably that more so than the Mario Odyssey cap, the wing cap from Mario, Od or Mario 64. All right, before I say anything silly, I'm just gonna keep going. We got Vanilla Dome 1, or Vanilla Secret 1. And there's a lot going on in this level. And I think it's also a level with its own secret exit, so I'll try to look out for that. Only so much I can do. Okay, so we got another feather that I'm just gonna ignore because I have plenty of feathers. Okay, so I guess I'm supposed to go up this way. I mean, I can't quite make it from here. There might be another way. Or not. Uh, You know, I should probably try to hit these. Yep, 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 got it. Unfortunately, that means I can't bring Yoshi. Sorry, Yoshi. I can get this one, though. Okay, so I'm up here now. And I'm sure there's, oh, purple. So I guess this is for the purple checkpoint, okay. I guess it just gives me another dragon coin. We'll go back down there then. Shouldn't be too bad. The purple switch palace, I mean, not purple checkpoint. Don't know what I'm talking about. So run back down that way. And I wanna get as many dragon coins as I can because it, yeah, one thing, it's just, they're sort of satisfying to collect, I can't deny. And the, you know, I know it's a big part of the game. Okay, so we got another one that I don't need either. I sort of wish I could have held on to that because these guys are gonna be very nice. All right, well, I made it work. And then there's a pipe down there and I don't know if I can look downwards with the thing. I think that's probably, if there is a secret exit, it's likely down that way. Hmm, but for right now, not the biggest worry because I'm looking for the normal exit. Yeah, another one, four out of five. Whoa, whoa, ho, ho. 
So I gotta go this way. Yeah, okay, that's looking like it. And this is the end of the level? Oh, through this pipe, yes it is. So how many points do I need? 12 points for another, oh no you don't, sir. Leave me alone, thank you. Boom, 18 points, so that should be another bonus area. And then we'll probably have to replay this for the secret exit if there is one, which I'm like 85% sure there is. Okay, ready, jump. No, I messed it up because of the cape. Oh my gosh, I always mess that apart up. Oh, okay, well that was okay. It wasn't bad, we get two one-ups, three one-ups out of it. Yeah, okay. I really wanna get all of it, depending on what what is in the center. I feel like that would be the best possible thing. Just isn't easy to do. So yes, that is a red level, so we're gonna head back down and try to find out where in the world that secret exit is. The farther we get into the game, the more like, you know, fuzzy my memory gets, but I'm pretty sure I had to do with that one pipe that was sort of off to the side. Ooh, that was actually a pretty nice start, and then I messed it up. Hold on, get up this way. No, dude, are you serious? Now I don't even have a feather cap, which would have made all of that so much easier. So I gotta play this level really well now if I want to get to the secret exit. Can you get on the springy thing? Thank you. The camera doesn't always keep up with Mario, is it? which is another tough spot to work with. Okay, so I do remember most of this level, so that should make it easier to sort of go along with the flow. I gotta dodge this guy. Ready, get out of here. Yeah, okay. This is where things get tough. There should be, I thought, a cap somewhere. But maybe not. There's a spring this way. Oh, 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 here we go. Yeah, there's a cap. So what I need to do, probably, is just put this down this way, and then, no! <laughs> you little stinkers! I can't believe you just did that to me! There's no way I can get up. Oh, I did, I did it <laughs> without getting hit. I don't think there's another cape up here. Oh! Ooh, I don't like those guys one bit. They're jerks. So that's not quite what I'm supposed to do, anyways. There might be, you know what? I think I, I might know what it is. I think I might know indeed. If I could just, hold on, put this here, and then, well, not exactly what I was looking for, gotta be honest. Hold on, hold on. Ooh, yeah, that's it, that's it, not a problem. If as long as you have the cape, you can get up there super easy. I mean, I'm sure with the purple switch blocks, you can maybe use the thing and be a little bit more viable with it. But there we go, there's another secret exit. So not every secret exit is a key and keyhole, but most of them are. I'm pretty sure that's a different exit. It was sort of similar, but I'm pretty sure it has to be different. Uh, let's find out. It is, it leads to another star road, which we won't worry about for now. Like I said, you gotta stay tuned until later in the series. But up here, we actually have a whole separate thing going on. We have a second castle. So we have two castles to deal with in today's episode. Isn't that fun? But for right now, we have Vanilla Secret 2, where we have Yoshi. And this area is pretty simple. Uh, oh boy, ready? Okay, we made it, we made it. We got these little green switch palace things, which is always nice to have around, especially when everybody's beating me up! Leave me alone! <laughs> no! They jump in such a weird way, I just want my Yoshi back, and then I get him and you take him away from me! No, you just, you, you literally took everything from me there. You took all my power-ups, you took my Yoshi. Like, come on! Why is this so difficult for me? I have no clue. I'm just having such a hard time. Okay, you know what? Can I just... I just wanna eat one of them without them jumping so ridiculously. Why do they jump that way? Why does it have to be the way it is? I don't understand. <laughs> just need to take it slow, but it's hard to take it slow when there's like 17 Koopas just gunning for you. If I could just, like, like you see, especially since some of them don't jump as high as the others, like that's total baloney. Oh, I thought if they had wings, it would fly, or they'd make Yoshi fly. I suppose that's not the case. Okay, grab one of these dudes. I'm gonna spit this out, and boom, it's gonna get me a feather cap, which is what I was looking for. So that's really exciting. Boom, bounce off of you. Not quite what I was looking for as well. Oh my gosh, it just never ends. What? Yoshi! Oh, what happened? I've never seen that happen before in this game. He fell through the world. I'm so sorry, buddy. I didn't want that to happen to you. That, that was awful. I've never seen that happen before. That was so weird. Anyways, go through here, nope. Uh, Get rid of you. 
No, okay, so none of these pipes I can go through, that's fine, that means one last thing to worry about. I don't think this is a secret exit level either. Oh no, it's my enemy, the Lakitu, and falling bomb bombs. Oh hey, look at this, we got music notes. That's pretty cool. Had a feather, not a, you know, it, it is a feather. I don't know why, I, oh no! I don't know why I don't wanna call it a feather now. Things are not going well for me for this level. Yeah, it's a yellow dot. So as long as I can just make my way through, we already got the checkpoint, so let me get another one. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Where is the other cap? Well, I first let me get rid of you, and it's right here. So if, as long as we wait here, because this guy's, he's gonna jump off. I like how they're, oh gosh, they're gonna explode. Their explosions are actually so easy to ignore. A little concerning. I mean, it feels like it could sneak up on you. What is going on with all these guys? What is the gray switch? Whoa, it turns all the enemies into coins. Oh, that's really interesting. I've never seen that. Oh, it gave me two one-ups there. I guess three in total, like a one-up and then a two-up. I don't think I've ever seen a two-up before. Whoa, 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 they did that ninja move again. That is crazy, we got a three-up. Oh man, that is really, really weird. Okay, get rid of some of these guys. Okay. Oh no, I got greedy again. I got greedy and I fell down the pit. I was just trying to land on some Koopas. Nothing's going well. <laughs> okay, keep it simple, boom. It's all you needed to do, Zebra, that's all you needed to do. <laughs> I don't know what's with me making things more complicated than they have to be today, but I'm doing a really good job with that. Okay, so now we have Vanilla Secret 3. This is even more worrisome, because I think it's underwater. I guess it's on the surface of the water. Whoa, dolphins, dolphins, hey, this is cool. The mammals of the sea. Of course, the zebra is also a mammal. So, you know, we, we have some kind of kinship. Whoa, I don't know if they can hurt you or not, but if you stand on top of them, everything's A-OK. -okay. But I gotta be careful, this is where things get a little scary. This is a fun level, but it's also scary. Oh gosh, I didn't get hit there, so that's a good sign. I mean, they're pretty thin vertically, so, okay, so you don't, it doesn't hurt them, or it doesn't hurt me. Whoa, look at this guy. No, no, it's my biggest enemy. Oh, I remember this guy from New Super Mario Bros. No, no, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, I don't like it, I don't like it, no, come on, he sort of tricked me out there. Come on, no. Oh, I just wanted to get the power up so I had a higher chance of surviving against him. But everything is a risk and reward with this game, and it's more risk than it is reward sometimes. Okay, I need to get a mushroom from this and just sort of work with what I got, you know? Okay, ooh, I really forgot how crazy tough this game can be. I mean, it's just like thing after thing. Because the levels are really short. Like they're short and oh, now you charge for me before I tried to go away from you and you would just, you would stay in the same place. Now you don't. <laughs> Okay, okay, just get away from him, get away from him, get away from me, no, oh, I don't know what's in that question block, but I'll never know. Um, ooh, okay, I like the dolphins that are just hopping up and down and that are like, they're like facing the camera, like those guys, they're pretty cute. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, no, how would I not land on him? There we go, there we go, oh my gosh, thank goodness. I don't even care about the coin, I don't even care about the coin, I care about survival, I care about survival, I care about survival. Survival! <laughs> it's so difficult, especially without a, a feather cap thing, feather flower. It's not It's not either of those things. I don't know why I have the urge to say that it is. Okay, so he hasn't shown up yet. Oh, that's good. So I guess, you know, if he doesn't start from here, that makes sense. Maybe he'll just stop bothering me. Maybe he'll just leave me alone. I'm out of his radar. I and mean, if I just stay on the dolphin, I don't know why I was jumping so much. I figured that when I dipped into the water, no, we're fine. Oh, that's that's easy. What was I doing this whole time? <laughs> I don't wanna go back to it. Instead, boom, I wanna miss the thing. Darn it. I missed a little streamer in the center, so I don't get any star points there. Oh well. We tried our best. <laughs> this game is so much fun, it has so much charm, but man, can it be tough. We're going into the vanilla fortress, so I don't know who it's going to be in here, if any coupling at all. I guess it could make sense there's an extra coupling in this castle. Interesting that there is, oh my gosh, it's an underwater castle as well. I wonder if it'll be Wendy. That would make sense. She usually has the underwater stuff. But um, if it'll be a coupling at all because, but it would make sense, right? Because there's seven worlds and then it's the boss fight on the eighth world. So you don't see that eighth coupling very easily. Or maybe there's only, well there's only seven couplings, isn't there? I can't remember. It's been too long. 
I don't know if I want the correct way or not. This is like a maze or something. But I don't know, oh, not these guys. I remember these guys being tough. Get the mushroom, and then head back this way. Because I, I don't know if I'm heading the right way or not. But I can only hope, right? The spinning, you know, spike balls of doom are not fun to look at or deal with in any capacity. But here I am looking at them and dealing with them. Okay, okay, got it. I don't know, I feel like I did, that was just a different path. Yeah, it was just a different path you could take, depending on what kind of risk. Like if you'd rather deal with thwomps or spike balls. Well, I guess I, I chose, I, I picked my poison there, I guess you could say. Come on, can the fish surpass the spiny guys? So luckily, I found my way to the end. Whoa, 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 it sort of forced me out there. Well, let's find out what this boss fight is. Oh, hey, Drynos! Of course, the most notorious Mario enemy of all time, Rhinoceros. I forgot about this being even, oh no, and I died to it. I was about to jump and hit him and land and it would have been beautiful. Ah, the Rhinoceros, the most treacherous ever. Okay, so I made it back. Let's try this again. I'm gonna go like right to the chase here. I know they spit fireballs at us, so we do have to be careful. Apparently I wasn't careful enough. This is where it gets scary. I think I actually have to hop on the wheel. Oh, I did it! I got him! Is there anything more I have to do? What does it say on that board? Does it say like, Razor? Oh, Reznor, that's his name. Was it their name or his name? Maybe he's cloned Rhinoceros. I don't know, but we figured it out and you can see that is a bit of a shortcut to like a different area. Is this something we have to do here? Butter Bridge, I feel like this is like a whole different area. Maybe this is like a whole different world. I don't know. Weird, so we'll leave that. Cause like this was definitely Vanilla Fortress, Vanilla Fortress, Butter Bridge. We'll leave Butter Bridge for another episode another time cause I wanna finish Vanilla now. So let's go back. We've just defeated Reznor the Rhinos. We're gonna head all the way down this way and go through to the castle, which like we mo noted before is Lemmy. So that'll be really, really cool. Let's go ahead and deal with that by uh, going into castle number three. Awesome. Now I don't have too much to be prepared with this. I don't have any power ups, so I might have to go back and get those. But for now I have over 50 lives, so hopefully that'll be helpful. Oh hey, look, here's Magic Koopa. I mean, I usually call him Kamek because sometimes canonically, like they call him Kamek, they call him Magic Koopa. Now the thing is, I can't get down from here until they break some blocks, so that's sort of what I'm waiting for. It's not really working that very well, though. I think he has to, no, 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 come on, stop this. Stop this madness right now, sir. It's not easy to do a small Mario, but eventually, he'll bust a block from over there. Got a yellow Koopa. Okay, okay, I'm being attacked. Oh, I got him, <laughs> hey. All right, well, that was sort of lucky. There's some platforms in water. I just like love the look of this game. It's just so cool. You know what, sir? Could you just please refrain from attacking me? No, you didn't, you had no refraining. I think I need this switch. I need to get over this way, place it down, press those buttons. Oh, well how am I gonna get up? Well, I messed that up. Uh. Oh, there I go, there I go. What's in here? Hey, a checkpoint, and that also brings me right up to being Big Mario, I forgot it did that. Cool. Now what's going on with all of the, oh no. Raising and lowering platforms, did I just find a shortcut? Oh gosh, oh that was scary. Cause I don't mind finding a shortcut, that sounds nice and helpful. Oh gosh, big jump. That's a really big dry bones. <laughs> I feel like the, the, like the, the ratio between him and Mario is definitely, oh my gosh, that was risky. Larger in this game than it is in others. So I need to wait for that to raise again. Hey, hey, lay off, buddy. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I almost fell to my doom. No, oh, still almost falling to my doom! Come on! It's so scary, everything about this game is scary. Let the fireball raise and lower. Oh, it takes forever though. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter too much, it looks like there was something in the way. Um, That was a mistake, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. If I, if I get squished, it's like full on, you know, I, I die and I have to start over. I mean, we do have a checkpoint now, which is really nice. We can just go down the staircase. Got it. Ooh, there's another one. That was a mistake. Go this way, go this way. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. It's so tense. It, no, it's so intense. I was really lucky. Got it. Got it. Okay, I'm supposed to go up here. I'm supposed to go up like that. And hey, thank you, Green Switch Palace from last episode. We got ourselves a boss fight. Is this Wendy Koopa? I think it might be. No, it's Lemmy Koopa. I already figured that out. I don't know why I keep forgetting. 
the most basic of details. Okay, he's over there, he's over there. Yeah, this one's cool, cause it's like a little, you have to sort of do a guessing game of which one's the real one, but you gotta be quick with it. And we were, so we got ourselves Lemmy Koopa, another guy who's just not similar at all to how he is nowadays. And that means we have completed the ever so treacherous Vanilla Dome. So many levels in that one. So much treacher treacherous treacherosity happening. Look at that, they actually have the cave details here. Thank you, you're welcome. And we're just gonna get a big hammer. Look at this. <laughs> Mario has triumphed over Lemmy Koopa of castle number three. Mario's quest is starting to get much more difficult. Say that again. Have you found the red and green switches yet? We have, we've been doing an excellent job with that. So there we have it, another level complete. And with it, another world. Mario's gonna charge over to this pipe. And let's just go through the other side to get a little sneak peek of next episode. This should be, I think like this is also, this is cheese, cheese bridge. So there's butter bridge and then there's cheese bridge. So we'll go through, we'll get all those levels done in the next episode of Super Mario World. If you want to split a video, make sure you comment Zebra Cape so now you've watched at the end of the you are a Zebra Tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.